climate change is one of the important topics of our lives today. The importance of addressing climate change cannot be overstated as it is one of the pressing challenges and very urgent challenge in our lives. Climate change is driven by human activities such as burning of fossil fuels, uh, deforestation and industrial process and it is resulting in increase of global temperature, rising sea levels, melting ice caps and various other ecological disruptions. The climate change affects every corner of the world. It affects the economies, it affects the ecosystems, it affects food security it, and it affects human health as well. The need for addressing climate change is because we have to safeguard our current generation and the future generations as well. Not only the human generations, we have to safeguard the biodiversity and ensure that we have a sustainable future for everyone. Climate change cannot be done by one person or one country or a particular single department and so on. Climate change needs to be a collective effort. So all the countries are participating and they have their own goals to sustain and bring down the, the carbon levels and carbon emissions and so on. Canada is taking a unique approach and it is doing it through a policy called carbon tax. What is carbon tax? Carbon tax is like a price tag on emissions. It is like as simple as saying, if you produce carbon emissions, so you have to pay for that carbon emission. Say for example, if you go to a store and if you buy a plastic bag or if you buy something that has environmental impact, you have to pay some fees for that. Similarly, the carbon emissions is like producing a lot of environmental impact, but we don't see it. So how to price that? So it is done through carbon tax. We are pricing carbon emissions. So what is carbon emission? So carbon emission is nothing but the greenhouse gas emissions, which is primarily done or primarily increasing the greenhouse gases or the greenhouse effect in our atmosphere. And it is done by burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, sometimes change of land use and sometimes industrial process as well. Okay, so what is greenhouse effect? When the sun emits the radiation or the, or the light, so it emits in the form of ultraviolet lights. So when it reaches the earth's surface, the surface absorbs majority of the light and reflects back some light back to the universe. So whatever light is absorbed, so it warms the earth's surface and it produces heat in the form of infrared radiation. You know, you know, there are greenhouse gases, which are like carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor. They have the property of being transparent to solar radiation and being opaque to the infrared radiation that is the heat generated on the earth's surface. So, so what the greenhouse gases, the carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor, what it does is, so it traps the heat and generally the, the temperature or the earth's surface gets warmed up. So now what we are doing is by burning in the coal, by burning fuel, by burning natural gas. So we are adding more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So by adding more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, the earth's surface gets heated up even more artificially by because of human activities. So this is called increasing the greenhouse effect. So ultimately human beings are responsible and human activities are responsible for all the extreme climatic conditions and all the climatic ecological disturbances we are seeing right now. So the country has taken a unique measure so some countries have given subsidies for opting like uh, solar panels or something like that. And some countries have given some other options for reduced subsidy for buying electric vehicle and so on. Similarly, Canada is up to what is known as carbon tax. Carbon tax is not something new. So it was there from 2000s onwards, but it became popular recently. Um, in 2007, Alberta implemented a carbon levy or a carbon fuel charge or something you can say like that. British Columbia has introduced something called a revenue neutral carbon tax in 2008 itself. In 2016, the National Carbon Pricing Plan was introduced or the Pan-Canada Carbon Tax was introduced. So it had two main parts. The two parts of the Pan-Canadian framework introduced in 2016 had something called a carbon backstop and the other one is called low carbon fund. The carbon backstop is nothing but it will be like a fixed pricing. So pricing will be unique across the entire country or the carbon tax will be unique across the entire country. So it will not change as per each state and so on. The low carbon fund is mainly used they give subsidies to promote um, non-fossil fuel usage, such as like adoption of solar panels, adoption of electric vehicles, adoption of heat pumps in the, in the house, instead of using gas for heating your house, so and all those stuff. So that is done using the low carbon fund. Gave, the federal government gave options to each and every provincial government. Say either you can have your own system, or if your system does not meet the federal standards, then the federal system will be implemented. So there are, uh, say for example, the backstop had two parts. Further. So the one is called the fuel charge. That is a surcharge will be added to um, your natural gas usage, your fuel usage and everything else. And the next one is output based pricing system or OBPS which is mainly for industries. So now say for example in Ontario what happens is that we have the federal system for fuel charge and the provincial carbon system for industries. 
Similarly, this is how each and every province is having, and this is the very systems that each and every province is having. The carbon tax was mainly introduced as a measure to reduce the carbon footprint. So did that really happen? So what is the total emission that is done by Canada? It's 730 megatons in 2019. In 2021, it came down to 670 megatons. So it is further expected to reduce like 80 to 90 megatons in a few years. So that is a big change. But all this will happen only when every single province follows the federal standard that is being set. So I already mentioned, so Canada's total emission is 670 megatons or 670 million tons. The price set till 2022 by the federal government. The price is set to increase till 2030. So from an economic standpoint, say for example, in Ontario, the current pricing for carbon tax for natural gas is 0.12 cents per meter cube. Okay? So the gas price is 0.15 cents per meter cube. With additional costs and adjustment, it comes to 0.22 cents per meter cube. So approximately like 60 percentage, you have to pay more from your pocket. Say for example, the family is using like 100 meter cube per month of gas. So, so they have to pay $22. So now instead of $22, they'll be paying additional $12, which is like $34. So with HSTA and other increases, you can see how much it impacts each and every household. So what the government does for this impact? So we might be thinking, the government introduced something as a revenue neutral carbon tax. That means whatever the tax is collected from the people will be given back to the people. Yes, that is really happening. So say for example, an average family household, um, they get a family of four and based on average family income, they get approximately $160 every year that is returned back to them. Say I told like we are paying $12 extra per month. So approximately in a year, you are paying with HST, everything it comes to around $160. So whatever payment given by the government will match whatever amount we are spending. So that is mainly done through an initiative called Climate Action Incentive Payments. So we must good news, right? So, but as I mentioned before, so you can see, say for example, for the natural gas, the price currently is 0.12. Now you can see how much it is going to increase in 2030, it will be 0.34. So we are not sure whether we'll be getting a similar climate, the CAIP payments. And uh, not only that, this is direct impact is almost nullified by the payments given by the government, but that is an indirect impact as well. Say for example, uh, the fuel price gets increased because of the carbon tax, because of the fuel charge that is being added to the petrol or everything. So naturally, all the transportation, everything is dependent on the fuel. So thereby, there is a chance of increase in inflation. There is a chance that interest rate again will increase based on the inflation. So, and affordability, there is again another chance, affordability of Canadians over a period of year, few years. So, this is the current situation of carbon tax. Let's look at the recent news about carbon tax. So as I mentioned, like, whatever carbon emissions we are doing, like using natural gas, using fuel, using propane, using coal, using everything, furnace oil, everything will be taxed. So recently government gave an exemption only for furnace oil. So while affordability is an issue for everyone, suddenly giving an exemption only for furnace oil has raised a lot of questions and there was a lot of debates, a lot of discussions in the parliament and outside the parliament and everywhere about carbon tax. And as I told before, the carbon tax price keeps on increasing every year. So with the increase of interest rate and with the increase of carbon tax, again, there are a lot of discussions going on about, about affordability and affordability of households and so many other questions that are coming up. So these are the latest and recent developments about carbon tax. So today, you would have got a good idea about what is carbon tax and how it came about and what, what do we need to do to reduce our carbon tax and so on. So as we wrap things up, carbon tax is just only one part of the puzzle in our fight against climate change. So when you build a house, you need a good foundation. Carbon tax provides a great foundation and it will help us build an environment friendly and environmentally conscious future Canada. So today, you would have got a Thanks for joining us in our journey to the world of carbon tax. So please hit that like button, share this video and let everyone be aware of such an important environmental policy called carbon tax. As you all know, a small change can create a big impact and sharing this video can be one. Thank you and have a great day.